Hello and welcome to today's Oil for the Journey reading. I am your reader, Denise Denton Mitty, and we are following the Bridges for Peace Ignite the Truth Bible reading plan. I'm sorry, this is Oil for the Journey Oil Change. So we're going to delve into the meaning and practical application of Psalms 6 through 9, which was taken from... Um, from today's earlier reading of Psalms 6 through Psalms 9. And overall, just wanted to point out that not all the Psalms were written by David. Um, David was a writer, Moses was even a writer, uh, sons of Korah, and then of course Asaph was the second largest writer of the book of Psalms. And there's Psalms that exist outside of the Psalms because these were so songs or poetic verses in Hebrew. And um, Hannah wrote a Psalm, uh, Solomon wrote a Psalm, David wrote Psalms in the book of Samuel, uh, first and second Samuel. So uh, just in a nutshell, Psalms are just bringing to highlight the sovereignty of God to different periods of life. And in delving into our Psalms for today, we're going to look at two Psalms in particular, Psalm 6 and Psalm 9. So Psalm 6 is what's known as a penitential psalm, and Psalm 9 is known as an imprecatory psalm. So let's start with the penitential psalm, Psalm 6. Now, that's pretty self-explanatory. That's like um, a psalm of remorse, of sorrow, of penitence, feeling sorry, repentant, um, of, of sins and actions, just things that are going on in life. And, you know, it, it, Psalm 6, verse 6 in particular, David says poetically that his bed was flooded by weeping um, and drenched his couch with tears. I remember reading the psalm a couple of weeks ago um, after experiencing two deaths in, in my family, really about two months ago, and just a lot was going on, and I just felt filled with sorrow. And David expresses it so eloquently here, how filled with sorrow he was, and um, in this particular psalm of penitence also, David expresses uh, that, you know, there are people that are basically getting on his nerves that he is angered with and he would like for God to just intervene in these particular in this particular situation with these people, um, but intervening in a way that we remove his sorrow and help him to, in essence, feel better. One thing I like about the Psalms and all its writers, its authors that contributed to this wonderful book is that it's life. Life be life in, right? So it's just a life expressed through different um, circumstances and situations and asking God to intervene in those times in just a very real 100 practical personal way and that's what David did and when he's going through life he talked to God about it he's wrote about it he's sung about it um, and here in Psalm 6 he's feeling sorry for the sins that he has committed and that those have committed against him and just asking God to intervene so and we're gonna look at Psalm 9 now the imprecatory Psalm and this is very interesting because David is basically saying, you know, God, just go have vengeance for me, avenge me from my enemies. And this is very real as well because here Psalm um, David is feeling overwhelmed and uh, that his wicked, his enemies, this is more of a group. Psalm 10 gets into more individual, but this is more of a group. It's just coming against him and he wants vengeance. But nowhere does David take revenge. What he does is he asks God, the creator, to avenge him, to come to his aid, to rescue him. Um, he even highlights the oppressed. He, he's coming out in this psalm and expressing, you know, there are people that are poor and needy and that are also being taken advantage of. God, bring them justice as well. Avenge them as well from their enemies. And there are many psalms like these which 
kind of imprecatory psalms kind of seem violent on David's part because, you know, he's just saying God caused them to perish and, you know, cause them to be forsaken and punish them for all the evil that they have done. And it kind of seems harsh. Um, and, but he's just keeping it real that um, he's going through a lot. He's been betrayed. He's been um, probably abused and hurt, not physically, but probably abused and hurt. I remember at one point, this psalm doesn't cover it, but his own son was coming at him to kill him. Uh, and he was hiding from his son. So and hiding from uh, Saul, who he was uh, serving at one point, a friend at one point, his, his Saul's son, Jonathan was David's friend, close friend. So David has gone through a lot in life and has seen and experienced a lot. And he's just like tired of it. So in this particular psalm, the imprecatory psalms, he's saying, God, I know you are strong. Go after all these enemies, wipe them out, kill them. Um, and that's, that's the feeling of the psalm behind the psalm. But we know that it's not God actually going and doing that to his enemies, although God is very able to do that. But it's just an expression of David's um, um, anger, if you will, towards his enemy or righteous indignation, that's a better word, towards his enemies and wanting God to intervene. So that's the imprecatory Psalms. And again, they could seem very harsh, but he is just expressing how he feels. So where do we go from here with the penitential psalms and the imprecatory psalm, Psalm 6 and Psalm 9? Well, just basically to know that all through life, whether it's through sorrow or whether we feel that we are in a place of attack from our enemies, those that be hating on us, excuse my um, euphemism, but they be hating and we go through that. Everybody goes through that to an extent in their life. And um, it could be even from a close friend or family member that you feel um, that you need some uh, the Lord to avenge you of some mistreatment or harm that they've caused you. It's just real way of expressing God, I need you. And uh, you are majestic. Throughout the Psalm, uh, the Psalms, the book of Psalms, um, David expresses the awesome, majestic, sovereign power of God, and he turns to God for whatever he's going through in life. So we are here on this earth to worship God, to bring him glory um, in and through our lives. And in so doing, we're going to experience some hard times, hard times of sorrow and hard times of hurt um, by our enemies. And in those particular cases, when life be life in, God is always there. We have to remember we can go to him and just keep it real with him with those issues of life. So thank you for joining us for this particular oil change of Psalm chapter 6 through 9. And may God bless and keep you.